Nowadays, cruise ships come in all sizes and colors, but this wasn't always the case. Today, when we see ships with dark hulls, we often think of them as more traditional, uh, like the Queen Elizabeth here. But why is this? Now, the answer has to do with how these great ships were powered and the letters preceding some of their names. So why are cruise ship hulls traditionally black or navy? We'll explain it right now. Before I get started, please remember to click to like, subscribe, and be alerted when we post new videos to YouTube. We have videos on cruising history, tips for new cruisers or seasoned sailors, and a lot more. It'd mean a lot to us. Have you ever seen a ship with MS or MV in front of her name? Like MS New Amsterdam from Holland America? Now this is short for motor ship or motor vessel, as the case may be. Not long ago, this was used to differentiate those ships from ships that started with SS. It's often thought that SS stood for steamship, and that's not completely wrong. These were steamships. But really, the SS originally stood for screw steamer. Now, screw steamers were steamships that used steam power to drive a propeller, or screw in nautical parlance. Paddle steamers, or ships that started with PS, those used steam power, but that power was used to drive large paddle wheels that were fixed usually to the side and sometimes to the aft of the ship. I know that's a lot of new nautical terms, and there are going to be more, so you can check the link down below for our post on nautical terms for cruisers. But how does any of that relate to the color of the hull? Well, boilers on steamships were originally coal-fired. Coal was burned to turn water into steam, and the steam was used to power the ship. When ships took on coal in port, that meant shoveling tons of black, dusty coal into doors located just above the water line, on, the, on either side of the ship. Now, these doors led to chutes that led to the coal bunker, where the trimmers, which were the hardworking people handling the coal below deck, you often see those in movies like, well, Titanic, you saw Titanic. Uh, they, uh, they hauled coal to the appropriate furnaces. Now, the process left the trimmers as well as the sides of the ship covered in coal dust. Moving it around just made the dust come up more and more. Now, no beautiful ocean liner could be seen like this, especially at a time that ocean liners were seen as representing the country in which they were flagged, and they, they were really, you know, something that, that the people of a country took pride in. So, light color exteriors, at least anywhere near the coal chutes, were completely out of the question. If we look at older ships from Cunard, p and White Star, and even the SS United States, they all had dark hulls. Now, some ships may have only had the bottom third of the hull dark, with lighter colors above, where the coal dust wouldn't show. Again, those doors were generally right above the waterline, so that boats could pull up next to them full of coal, and they could be loaded in. With a handful of exceptions, ships stopped using coal a long time ago. Even the Queen Mary, launched in 1934, was built to run on bunker oil rather than coal. But the demise of coal isn't just about new ships. See, the engine rooms of many ships had their boilers modified to burn bunk bunker oil, uh, petroleum-based fuel, instead of coal. This was done to, to get more power out, to, uh, to reduce costs, uh, reduce range, all sorts of things. The demise of coal wasn't about new ships. The engine rooms of many older ships had their boilers retrofitted to, to burn bunker fuel, in, or bunker oil, rather, instead of coal. So this switch to petroleum-based fuels was done to make ships more efficient, to extend their range, and frankly, to eliminate the need for trimmers as well. There were a lot of reasons. It was just a nat natural way to advance technology at sea. Despite ships no longer using this very dusty coal and the trimmers being made obsolete by modern technologies, the hulls of many of these ships, they just stayed dark in color. Even today, Ships from Holland America and Cunard remain dark, generally speaking, either navy, blue, or, or even black. Uh, now, I actually find that look rather nice. Uh, some, some other companies, more modern companies, will say, have continued this tradition, like Disney Cruise Line. But I don't think that the light color hulls are in any way unattractive either. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any other questions about cruise ships, ocean liners, uh, anything that has to do with cruising at all, 
Do us a favor, reach out on social media. I'll be happy to answer you. You can also go onto the Cruise Habit message boards. It's a fantastic place to talk ship. For more information on ocean liners, cruise destinations, all of those things I just talked about, check out cruisehabit.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, click the little bell so you're alerted when we post a new video. Thanks.